Wellington Primary Science Essay 2 First question The following shows the life cycle of an animal Which animal is likely? Okay, the key, word, the key thing to look out for is nymph Alright And uh, out of the four animals here You know that the grasshopper is a three stage one which has a nymph So the first answer is four Question 2. The diagram below shows the life cycle of a mosquito and a chicken. Which of the following statement is incorrect? Alright, the adult mosquito live in the water. The very first statement you know is wrong. The adult mosquito can fly, it doesn't stay in the water. So question 2, your answer is 1. Okay, we move down to question 3. Okay, question 3. Okay, you look at the diagram. Okay, first you see that, oh, Tissue paper is not getting wet. You know that this must be about what? Air occupying the space inside this area. Alright, so a tissue paper was stuck at the base of a glass beaker. The glass was inverted and pushed directly. The piece of paper, tissue paper remained dry when it was pushed directly. Which one of the statements explain why? Okay, I already told you, right? This diagram shows what? Air occupies space. So let's see. The inverted beaker occupying no. Compressed air took up the space. Yes, because the air took up the space in the beaker, water cannot go in to replace it. That's why it's still dry. No question three, your answer is two. In an experiment, question four, Germaine poured equal amount of liquid Y into three different rectangular containers. She then placed the container in different position as shown. Alright? At the end of it, she wrote down four statements. Which one are correct? Okay, so we see uh, they want correct statements only. Alright, okay. They take up space. That's true. Because you see, they fill up something, it takes up space. It doesn't show that it can be compressed at all. Alright, so those with B, you can cancel. Those without A, you can cancel also. It does not have a definite mass. Uh, no, you can't tell from that. It does not have a definite shape, definitely, because you see it takes the shape, whatever you're lying down, right, the shape just changes. So A and C, uh, sorry, A and D. Okay, so question 4, your answer is 3. Okay, we go on to question 5. Okay, Ryan observed the properties of substance A, B, C. He put a tick to indicate if it has a property and a cross it does not have that property. What could the substances A, B and C be? Alright, okay, look here. It has mass, it can be compressed, so there's only one thing that can be compressed and it must be a air for substance A. So we look at it. Below is it's not uh, okay, so you still have the next few. Uh alright, okay, we look at B now. It has mass, it occupies space, it has it does not have a definite shape. So this one must be a liquid. Alright, so this is already out, this is already out, it must be a liquid. Ice is a solid, sugar is a solid, so you're left with Honey, which is a liquid. So your question 5 answer is 3. Okay, move on to question 6 now. Beaker A was filled with marbles up to the 50 ml mark. Beaker B was filled with 50 ml water. What is the closest possible height of water when it's transferred? Okay, look here. This question is a slightly trick question. Do you see the gaps in between all the marbles? So the water takes the shape of the container, right, actually can, goes into it. So when you pour this into it here, it cannot be 100. It cannot be more than uh, 135. It cannot be 50 years or so. The only logical one is what? Number 6 answer is 2, which is 85. All right? Okay, move on to number 7. The diagram shows a water container filled with 3,070 meter cube of water. The capacity of the container is 5,000. After 500 is released, what is the final volume? Okay, this is also a trick question. I told you before, capacity of the container is 5,000. Water is uh, 3,000. Alright, so the air must be 2,000. No matter uh, how much you, you, you bring it inside, alright, uh, it will still be 2,000. Okay, then they change the question. Now I'm going to release 500 centimeter cube water, so I minus 500. Now my water left 2,500. My capacity is 5,000, so my air must be also 2,500. Okay, so answer is 2,500. Answer is question 3. 7, answer is 3. Question 8. Some sand particles 
and then egg were placed on a similar weighing scale. Okay, when you look at the word weighing scale, you know they must be talking about mass. Alright, about mass, about weight. Alright, nothing to do with volume. Eh? So based on the information, which of the statements are true? Okay, so you see that both point to the same thing. Alright, so both the egg and egg have mass. That's true because both uh, shows a recording. So those without A, you can cancel. The egg has a definite volume. But the sand particle do not. That's not true. So those with B, you can cancel. The total mass of the sand is greater than mass. That's not true. So you see they're actually the same. So no, not true. So question 8, your answer is 1. Okay, we go on now to 9 on the manex, electromagnet, I think. Okay, he makes an electromagnet using an iron nail, a battery and some wire. Okay, how to make an electromagnet stronger? When you coil more wires around it and you add more batteries. Which of the following will not increase the strength? Increasing the size of the iron nail used will not increase the strength. Alright, so you need to have A in your answer. Alright, increasing the number. When you increase the number of batteries, right, it makes it even stronger. So that's not true. So those will be you have to cancel. Increasing the distance of battery to the iron nail by increasing the length of it. No matter how long the wire you, it doesn't really matter. It's about a coil. Okay, so uh, this one answer is correct. So your question 9 answer is 3. Question 10. Greg wanted to use the stroking method to magnetize a nail. However, after stroking, he found that his nail was not magnetized. Which are the possible reasons why his nail was not magnetized? Alright, the nail was not made of a magnetic material. That's, that might be true because this nail, he didn't mention is it a steel, is, uh, is it a steel nail? It can even be a plastic nail. It can be a... Gary can ask silver, so it can be a gold, copper, aluminum nail. All oh, these cannot be magnetized, right? So those without A, you must cancel. Alright, um, Gary make too few strokes. Okay, you need to make a certain number of strokes, keep repeating the process before it become magnetized. So maybe that's true. If you just stroke once, you won't become magnetic straight away. Alright, so those without B, you cancel. Greg only use one end of the magnet to stroke the nail. You are only allowed to use one end. Okay, so this one is wrong. Wrong. So question 10, answer is 3. Okay, question 11. In which of the following were the two magnets repelled? What kind of, uh, how will it be repelled when light poles repel? So this is unlight poles, this is light pole. Okay, this is unlight pole, this is unlight pole. So answer 11 is 2. Question 12. Two glasses were stuck together as shown below. Which one of the following would be the best way to separate the two glasses from each other? Alright, uh, let's look at all the different ways. Eh? Uh, let's look at the first one. Okay, you put the, the bottom of the cup into a basin of hot water, you'll expand, become bigger and you can take it out. So this is correct. Okay, let's look at the second one. If I pour hot water into the top, the first cup on top, the, hot, the first cup will actually expand and it will crack. Alright, so this is the bad idea. Alright, if I... Pour hot water into into the top. The bottom I put it into hot water. Both will expand also, so it won't be, it won't come out also. The cup won't come out easily. Okay, no. Okay, now if I put this into a basin of ice water, the, the bottom part will actually contract. It'll make it even tighter. So my answer for this question is one. Question twelve answer is one. Question thirteen. Mary placed a thermometer in a beaker of hot water. The mercury in the thermometer rose immediately, so the temperature goes up. Huh? Which of the following best explains this? Okay, so this thermometer, temperature increase, it must be a heat gain. Okay, always remember that. Alright, the hot water loses heat to the thermometer. Okay, that's true. Thermometer gain heat and expanded. They don't expand. Alright, um... The mercury in the thermometer loses heat, that's not true. The mercury in the thermometer gain heat expand. That is the best answer, so it's much better than the first one. So, question 13, answer is 4. Question 14. Path was baking some cookies for her friends. While she was taking the freshly baked cookies, she felt that the metal tray was hotter than the cookies. Which one best describes the expression? Okay, because you see, uh, the metal tray is made of metal. That's why it's definitely a better conductor of heat than the cookie. That's why it feels much hotter. So your question 14 answer is actually just one. Okay, question 15. Study the diagram. 
Vicky can see the drawing blocked in the presence of light. Which one of the following surely curl the path? Okay, remember this one is actually like object I. Alright, so like object into its I. So you should have lamb, then uh, drawing block, and then uh, Vicky. So question 15, your answer is 4. Okay, we move on to question 16. An object is placed in front of a light source and a shadow is formed. What could the object be? So which one? Okay, it definitely cannot be one. Okay, because it doesn't have the base, right? So this one don't have the base also. This one have a oval shape at the bottom and this doesn't have. So this is the only one, alright? So question 16, answer is two. Okay, question 17. Wendy was eating. A person sitting suddenly starts smoking. She started to cough badly after inhaling the smoke, causing her to choke on the food. When she blew her nose, a grain of rice came out from her nose. What's the best possible? Okay, actually I told you before that people usually choke. It's because when we eat, okay, the food, instead of going to the gullet, went into the windpipe. Okay, so what do you think is the answer? Uh, the grain entered, no. If you entered the gullet, that's correct, alright? So this is not the answer. The grain of rice entered her windpipe instead of the garlic. Ah, that is the one I'm talking about. Okay, so question 17. Your answer is 2. Okay, question 18. Julia ate a chicken pie at 6 a.m. The diagram shows where the food was found at the various times of the day. Based on the diagram, at approximately what time would the food be absorbed into the bloodstream? Okay, this one usually happens at the small in Destined, uh, because that's why that's when they'll be absorbed. So it cannot be 6 a.m. when you first eat the, the thing, right? It cannot be 3 p.m. because at 2 30 is already at the anus here. Uh, it's already, it must be before uh, 3 p.m. It cannot be 6 05 because you are still chewing. So the only possible answer is 12 noon, which is answer 4. So 12 noon will happen at around this middle of time, 12 noon, okay, where you will be uh, in the small, small intestine finish all the digestion ready then it can be absorbed into the bloodstream question 19 which one of the following statement is true about our body system the respiratory system okay respiratory is about air so it cannot be sending blood so this is wrong the circulatory system is the most important system in our body uh, every system is important without any of the system we cannot survive so there's no such thing as most important so this is wrong each body system work closely with each other. Okay, this is definitely true. You need the help of each system working closely before your body can work. So question 19, answer is actually 3. Okay, question 20. Study the following diagram of the four roots. Which one are true? Okay, let's look at that. P and R store food. Okay, look at P, look at R. Okay, that's true. They are store food. This is like a carrot. Okay, this is like sweet potato. So they store, they store food. Okay. Uh, P, Q, R, S hold the plant because they are roots so the main function of a root is beside uh, absorbing water they also hold the plants firmly to the ground so correct you need your A and your B alright okay so you left with uh, the last two P, Q, R, S absorb water I just told you roots absorb water so C is considered more energy is required to pull out S compared to Q definitely because you see the roots is thicker they have more it's spread out over a wider surface area it's definitely harder so all of the above, number 20, answer is 4. Okay, we move on to 21 now. Which part of the plant traps sunlight to produce sugar? This one must be only the leaves because of the chlorophyll, the green chlorophyll. So your answer for 21 is actually, this is the flower, this is the leaf. So B, answer is 2, leaves. Okay, question 22. Shirley grew a seed in the young plant with leaves and recorded the change in mass of the seed leaf. Okay, so okay, we know that seed leaf, uh, uh, you must know that as the plant grow, the seed leaf, the mass of seed leaf will have to decrease because they keep using up the food inside it. Alright, so you look at the diagram here, cannot be three, cannot be up and down. Okay, so the only possible and logical answer is four. Okay, whereby the seed leaves will slowly, slowly decrease in their size because why? The seedling use up the food stored inside the seed leaves. Question 23. Three similar pot of plants were played in different boxes made of different materials. Okay, so these three plants are the same, just that the boxes are all made of different material. Each box has a hole at the side. There's a hole, okay. They were placed in open field, okay, sufficient. They were watered also, so they were watered. There's enough sunlight, alright. 
there was also a hole for air to go in. After two weeks, it was found that only plant C bend towards the hole. So this plant grow towards the hole here. Which of the following is the possible reason? Okay, uh, plants, uh, you notice even our class outside those flowers and plants, they grow towards where the sunlight is. So, oh, box B is opaque. Even if it's opaque, uh, the, the, the flower, the leaves will grow towards the sunlight. So it cannot be one. Okay, your answer for 23 cannot be one. Okay, only box C is transparent. If it's transparent, it will not grow towards the hole here. It will just continue to grow upwards. Okay, so this is not true. So same thing, B cannot be opaque, so your answer is 4. They are transparent, that's why they continue to grow upwards. They don't bend towards the hole. Alright? Okay, question 24. The diagram shows a pair of rubber gloves. He puts on a glove to protect and prevent a hand from being red and itchy due to the detergent when she washes. Which one best explain why rubber gloves are used? Okay, when you want to wash, uh, when you want to wash um, dishes, right? Washing all the plates and everything. Uh, it must be because you don't want your hand to get wet, all right? Uh, so that your skin won't get you know, uh, you won't you won't damage your skin, and also you need it to be very flexible so that you can touch the the place, hold it. So if it's strong and shiny, hard and durable, soft and transparent, no, it must be flexible and waterproof. It doesn't make your hand wet, and it's flexible enough for you to move around to grab all of the plates. So twenty four answer is four. Question twenty five. Sunata, uh, Sunita was asked to make a bookmark that's flexible. Which one should not be used? Okay, so um, 25. Cloth is flexible. Leather is flexible. Glass is not flexible. It's very hard. Plastic it is. So answer is 3. Okay, we move on to 26 now. Okay. Brandon set up the following experiment to find out the heat conductivity of four materials. He filled the four fast flask which are made of material A, B, C, D with the same amount he then placed in a trough of water it shows what happened to the like, liquid level or liquid other five okay you notice that the level of P are different they differ alright so definitely definitely uh, the the higher the the level of liquid P right it means the better conductor of heat it is alright the better it increase faster they want to make the handle of a frying pan Handle of frying pan, what's the best thing? They want the worst conductor of heat. Worst conductor of heat. Why? So that you won't burn your hand. So which one looks like the worst conductor? It has to be one A. Okay, because you see it increases the slowest. Heat doesn't travel so fast using material A. Alright, so the answer is one. Question 27. Cheryl was advised to wear white or light color clothes instead of dark clothes when she went out at night. Why do you think she was uh, advised this way? Okay, light color clothes can reflect more light. Of course, if you are in the dark, just think about it. You wear white color, people can see you clearly. Okay, that's, that's the main reason. Okay, so 27, your answer must be 1. If you still wear a dark color clothes, right? Dark color clothes do not reflect more light. Okay, what, what thing reflect more light? Shiny surfaces. Okay, white surfaces. All right? Okay. Okay, we go on to 28. 28. Um, experiment was conducted as shown below to check if warm was required for germination to take place. So one is dry cotton, one is wet cotton, black seeds placed in a room, placed in a fridge. Okay, Lisa commented it was not a fair test. Based on it, why do you think so? Okay, for any experiment there's only one condition they want to check if warm was required right so the only thing that must change is warm so fridge room okay correct but do you see this dry and wet okay it's not fair both must be either both must have been wet so uh, the amount of water was not the same 28 your answer is 4 okay the amount of water must be the same before it's a fair test and in this case both cotton must be wet Okay, question 29. Look at the diagram. Which of the following is true about the shadow? Uh, okay, it shows that the shadow can overlap. Yeah, you see? The shadows actually overlap each other. That's true. Alright, so those without A, you can cancel. Alright, without A, you can cancel. Uh, the mark is made of a transparent. If it makes of a transparent material, right? It won't have a dark shadow like this. So this is not true. Okay? You don't have to look at C also because you see you only left with this. There's three sources of light, so three shadows can occur. Definitely one, two, three. Alright? So answer for 29 is 
3. Okay, we move on to the last question for section A. Lina wanted to see a bigger shadow of a toy rabbit being cast on the screen when she was practicing. What should she do? Okay, imagine your hands and your eyes again. Huh? How do you get a bigger shadow? You put the object nearer to the light source. So you move the toy rabbit closer to the light source, nearer to the light source. So your question 30 answer is 2. Okay. Willington booklet B. The diagram shows the life cycle of a moth. Okay, moth is a four stage one. It's a ELPA. Alright, so fill in the two stages. So you look carefully. Uh, egg, lava. Okay, after lava, Q must be pupa. So P here must be egg. So egg, lava, pupa, adult. Okay, correct. Okay, next question here. Write down a difference between the lava and the pupa stage of a moth. Okay, the main difference is the lava eats a lot but the pupa does not eat. Alright, they does not eat. Alright, so the lava eats a lot but the pupa does not eat. Okay, question 32. Darwin was caught in the rain and his wallet was wet. He took out two wet $2 notes and one of them, note R, was torn accidentally. What materials do you think R and Q were made of? Okay, this one, uh, after you get into water, you can tell easily it must be made of what? Paper. Alright, while Q, it must be made of a, maybe a plastic. Okay, you cannot say steel or glass because you put in your wallet, it must be very flexible. So you only can choose materials that are what? Flexible. So paper and plastic are flexible. Alright. Next. Why is this paper and why is this plastic? Because it did not break. It did not torn. Nothing is done. It's, it's still okay. It must be waterproof. Well, this is non-waterproof. Okay. So paper is non-waterproof. Plastic is waterproof. So now I got to explain my answer for this. Alright. So um, I can say paper. Tears easily when wet while plastic is waterproof. Okay, so Darwin then complained to his mother and she gave him five one dollar coins instead. However, Darwin brother told him that he preferred the notes instead of the coin. Why do you think Darwin brother asked for the notes instead of the coins? Okay, definitely if you take a lot of coins, what happens is it's very heavy. So, actually paper, money, is lighter, while the coins are heavier. It's a very simple logical thing, alright? Okay, 33. Question 33. Chen Li said an experiment as shown below to investigate the rate of water flow in a tunnel in two different positions. Okay, you see very clearly that there's no gap, alright? Air is trapped inside here, they cannot escape, so this water is going to drip very slowly. Whereas here, can you see there's a lot gap? Air can escape from this hole, so water can flow easier. So in setup P, she rested the funnel on the opening. In setup Q, she tilted. State two variables she need constants to ensure a fair experiment. What's the experiment again? Investigate the rate of flow through a funnel in two different positions. So these two are the only thing that can change. The rest of the other conditions must be the same. So what is the two variables that she needs? First of all is the amount of water. The amount of water must be the same, then it will be a very fair experiment. The other one is uh, size of beaker. Okay, they must be of the same size, cannot be one bigger and one smaller. Okay, we go on to the next part. After three minutes, which beaker P or Q will contain more water? Definitely we uh Q will contain more water. They want us to explain. Okay, why we need to mention about the, the air escaping here. So you say it allows air to escape. Allowing water to flow quickly to 
occupy the empty space. Alright, it allows air to escape, allowing water to flow quickly to occupy the empty space, left behind by the escape air. Question 34. The diagram shows an adult tomato plant. Explain why a tomato plant needs to reproduce. This is a standard answer, alright? To ensure the continuity of its own kind. Okay, I put a star here. Please memorize this. Huh? They always ask you why do plants need to reproduce, why do animals need to reproduce. Okay, in which part A, B or C can the seeds be found? Okay, um, seeds can only be found in the fruits. So you look carefully, this is where the fruits are. So in which part? They never ask you to explain, so just B. Okay, label the stages of the life cycle of the plants by filling in the boxes. So we need to fill in these boxes. Life cycle. So you should have a seed. And then you have a young plant. Followed by an adult plant. Three stage life cycle. Okay, and then they say name another plant that has a similar life cycle. Okay, the chili plant also has a three stage. Okay, and uh, reproduced by seeds as well. Question 35. A pile of food waste was left in the open. After a few days, it turned mushy and gave off a very bad smell. Denzel's mother told him that the food had became rotten. Explain what caused the food. Okay, uh, actually what's the thing that caused the food to rot is actually something called decomposers. Okay, so you just say decomposers cause the food to rot. Okay, decomposers, right? D-E-C-O-M-P-O-S-E-R-S -E Name the process that has taken place This process is called decomposition Alright, decomposition of the food These two conditions that are required for this process to take place uh, they, 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 they need And uh, this, pro this process needs um, Presence of air and Moisture. Okay, they need air and moisture for decomposition to take place. Okay, Mary carry out some tests to determine the properties of three materials. So you have a table here. So from the results shown, which one is more suitable for making a pair of mittens for a baby? Mittens is something like socks or gloves for the baby. So definitely it must be like flexible and it must be able to stretch. Alright, only material C fulfills it. So answer for this one is C. So what's the two properties that make it, I just told you, it is flexible, it is stretchable. So you say it is stretchable and flexible. Alright, so state one similarity between material A and B. So both break easily, you see. These are the two ticks here. So uh, you can just say both break easily all right so what's the similarity both break easily question 37 matthew observed and grouped some animals as shown which one was grouped wrongly okay lion tiger they do give birth alive and legs crocodile duck okay plectopus okay plectopus okay it's a mammal that lay eggs it's a mammal that lay eggs all right Okay, question 38, uh, there's a problem with the question, so we're going to avoid question 38. So we'll move on to question 39. Okay, 39. Shane wanted to find out the temperature affects the rate, okay? Temperature affects the rate of photosynthesis. He set up investigation and recorded. Okay, you see uh, from the table that as the temperature goes up, the photosynthesis will increase and then it will slowly decrease again. So it means too hot, they also cannot photosynthesize. Alright, so what's the relationship? Relationship always use the table, use the table. Okay, these two keywords between. So your answer for thirty nine, uh, you should have as the temperature 
increases the rate of photosynthesis also increases to 30 degrees see? it increases to about 30 degrees then you must tell me that when the temperature is higher than 30 degrees Celsius sorry Celsius rate of photosynthesis decreases see it went downwards it went down with the arrow so okay as the temperature increase the rate of photosynthesis also increased to 30 degrees when the temperature is higher than 30 degrees rate of photosynthesis will start to decrease so looking at the next question what is the most suitable temperature then for Shane to grow his plants definitely it must be the 30 degrees must be the um, best all right because you see at 30 degrees all right is the highest rate of photosynthesis so here you can write uh, 30 degrees Celsius and you got to explain why oh, so you said the rate of photosynthesis is the highest at 30 degrees Celsius okay that's your answer for this question question 40 Justin planted the same type of plants in two identical pots. One pot had more plants than the other. He placed the pots in the garden under the same condition. The height of the plants were recorded once every two days. Okay, so you see that X and Y. X, the, the, the height of the plants, right, actually is higher. Usually plants which uh, has a lot more seeds in them, uh, a lot more seeds in the same pot of plants, they are overcrowded. Not enough space. They are fighting for sunlight, food, nutrients. That's why they actually grow taller and higher. So, what was the aim of Justin's experiment? Okay, um, he was finding out if overcrowding of plants affect the height all right so which line shows the pot with the fewer plants definitely must be y i told you already because x is higher meaning that the plants have to fight harder to fight for all the nutrients sunlight that's why they grow taller all right explain your answer in b so uh, the plants do not need to compete with one another for sunlight okay that's why they don't have to grow so tall because they don't have to snatch or compete with one another question 41 Minghui said on an experiment as shown below, the new was then able to attract some paper clips. It's like actual magnet, right? Name a material that can be used to make the paper clip. Okay, so it's your iron, you have your steel, you have your nickel, you have your cobalt. All these are magnetized material, right? So just one thing that you could do to make it attract more paper clips. So I say again, to increase the strength of the magnet, there's two things. Add more batteries or add more coils of wire around the iron nail that will make it a stronger electromagnet all right okay we move on to 42 it's about these gaps in the train track it's about heat okay topics on heat right just before explain why there are gaps okay uh, so allow the gaps to expand when 
when they gain heat on a hot day, right? Gain heat on hot days. Okay, that's the main purpose of the gap. Okay, question 43. Heiko carried on an activity. He heated a metal spoon at position A as shown. After 5 minutes, he realized that even C was hot. He was puzzled as his only heated position A. What is the process to calculate? Okay, heat actually transfer. Okay, so this is actually heat conduction. Alright, heat conduction. Heat moves okay, from here to here. What's the property of heat? Okay, uh, there's only one property of heat we know, right? Heat moves from a hotter region to a colder region. Okay, that's the end of this paper.